ओम शांति दिस इज दी अव्यक्त मुरली ऑफ फोर ऑफ जून ट्वेंटी ओरिजिनल डेट थर्टी वन ऑफ डिसम्बर नाइनटीन नाइन्टी फोर टाइटल इज सेलिब्रेट दी न्यू ईयर एज दी ईयर ऑफ हैविंग गुड विशेज एंड ऑफ बींग एन एम्बॉडीमेंट ऑफ वर्च्यूज टूडे बाप दादा द क्रिएटर ऑफ द न्यू एज इज सींग हिज चिल्ड्रन हु हैव अ राइट टू द किंगडम ऑफ द न्यू वर्ल्ड सींग द न्यू ईयर यू रिमेंबर योर न्यू एज इन फ्रंट ऑफ द न्यू एज दिस न्यू ईयर इज नॉट अ बिग थिंग एवरी थिंग एंड एवरी बींग इन दिस न्यू एज इज न्यू वेन द न्यू ईयर बिगिन्स the old things and the old nature and sanskars of the old people and their activity and behavior are sometimes new and sometimes old however in your new age there is no name or trace of old things even the beings are new that is they are sato pradhan and nature too is sato pradhan that is it is new even nature does not have the same old behavior as that of today so together with congratulations for the new age congratulations for the new year today everyone has arrived here with a lot of zeal and enthusiasm and happiness in order to celebrate the new year so bap dada is also giving double congratulations from his heart with blessings from his heart for the new ways and the new year therefore do all of you have double remembrance or single remembrance your new age is clearly in front of your eyes and in your intellects is it not just as you would say that the new year begins tomorrow in the same way is it also just as clear that tomorrow the new age is about to come do you have this intoxication are all of you those who have a right to the kingdom of the new age if all of you are to become kings have you created your subjects all of you are kings so who will you rule over yourselves so bab dada is saying both the new age and the new year it is only a matter of tomorrow both are a matter of tomorrow that will be tomorrow and this will also be tomorrow then it will be the new age can you see your dress brackets body of the new age you can see them in front of you can you not you will just let go of the old dresses and adopt the new dresses so those dresses are good are they not they are sparkling are they not they are beautiful are they not at present there is one fault brackets deformity or another in every person someone's nose is crooked or someone's eyes are crooked or some people's mouth would be like that whereas in the new age all would be number one every physical organ would be accurate So you can see such a dress hanging on a hook in front of you. Can you not? You just have to wear it. Is your dress good? Do you like it? You can see it. Can you not? What does Bab Dada constantly see when he looks at every child? Firstly, he sees the sparkling jewel of the forehead, the elevated soul, and along with that, he also sees the elevated line of fortune of each one. how elevated each one's fortune is is the fortune of all of you elevated or is someone's fortune of the middle level are all of you number one are those who claim the second and third numbers is still going to come it is good people of the world say let there be a rose brackets gulab in your mouth brackets may it happen and bab dada says let there be a gulab jamun in your mouth 
All of you like gulab jamuns very much, do you not? Bab Dada has kept the system of bhog on every Thursday just so that you can eat gulab jamuns or something sweet. You eat it yourselves and you also offer it to Bab Dada. Whether you make it for yourself or not in your home, you would receive something sweet on Thursday, would you not? So whenever there is an occasion of happiness, you sweeten your mouth. A sweet mouth means a sweet face. All of you sweeten your mouths. But not only are your mouths sweet, but your faces are also sweet. Or are they also a little bitter? If there is even one line of bitterness, then as well as bidding farewell to the ear, bid farewell to even that little bitterness. Do you know how to bid farewell or do you like keep it, keeping it close to you? Or having bidden it farewell, will you call it back? You would then say that Maya is not letting go of it. Even though you wish to let go of it, you will not say I let go of it. But then Maya came. Will you? Will you write such letters when you return? Farewell means farewell for all time. To bid farewell means not to allow it to come again. Or does it matter if it comes again? This is because many of you like your old sanskars. Today you would say that from tomorrow you will not do the same thing. Then the day after you will be under their influence again. That would not be called farewell, would it? So learn how to bid farewell. It is a common matter to bid farewell to the ear. But all of you have to bid farewell to Maya. To any trace of it and its progeny. Not even the slightest trace of it should remain. Many children say there is already a 75% difference. There will also be a further difference. However, Maya very quickly creates its creation from even the slightest stress. If even 25% stress of it remains, it can very quickly reach 50%. This is why you ha you even have it you even have to finish any trace of it. So what will you do in the new year? So Bab Dada is telling you that as well as bidding farewell to the year, also bid farewell to any traces of Maya. As well as bidding farewell, you also give greetings. What will you do when you meet one another? You will say greetings for the new year. So give greetings and along with greetings give yourself and others greetings for the angelic form. You are angels. You come down from above, perform your task and fly away again. This is what angels do, is it not? So wings have been sown as a sign of the flying stays. They are not artificial wings. The angels that have been portrayed with wings so that they are angels in the flying stage. So give greetings for the angelic form of, of yourself and others. Constantly stay in the awareness of the angelic form and also see others in that form. Not that it is so and so or so and so. No, they are angels. This angel is an instrument for giving the masses. Do you understand? So give everyone greetings for the angelic form. No matter what someone is like, the world can change through your vision. When the world can be changed through your vision, can Brahmins not change? So your vision and attitude will change every soul. Bab Dada is sometimes amused at you children. You must also be amused at yourselves. On the one hand you say that you are world transformers, World benefactors, a world transformer comes and says that he is not able to transform this. You even say in your heart to heart conversation with yourself that although you don't want to do something, you still do it. So you are world transformers and you say to yourself that you want to do something but that you are not able to do it. In that case, what should the title of such souls be? Should they be called world transformers or weak? You sing many songs. 
what can i do how can i do this i don't know when this will happen the songs are songs that bab dada hears so you are world transformers and world benefactors and so can you not change any soul can you not change yourself if you are not transformers of yourselves how can you be world transformers bab dada says make a determined promise to yourself this year a promise means that you do not break the promise even if you leave your body this is what is meant by a promise so do you have that much courage to make a promise will you do this you will not be afraid will you therefore make this promise to yourself you will never ever see anyone's weakness or defect you will not listen to or speak of anyone's weaknesses or defects you will not listen to them you will not speak of them you will not see them so what will this year become the year of having good wishes and of being an embodiment of virtues each year is given its own name when everyone makes this promise this year will become the year of having good wishes and of being an embodiment of virtues are you in agreement with this in that case do not change your mind when you return home you would then say the atmosphere in madhuvan was very good whereas here we have the company of the atmosphere one who transforms everyone does not get colored by the atmosphere or come under anyone's influence if the world transformer becomes influenced what transformation would he bring about therefore celebrate this year as being an embodiment of virtues and having good wishes take whatever is impure in anyone as something pure even while is seeing anything impure see it with your pure vision when you are able to change nature are you not able to change human souls in that too are you not able to transform brahmin souls when there are good wishes for everyone the word reason will finish and you will only see the word solution it happened because of this it happened because of that no transform the reasons into solutions do you have this courage acha just look out when bab dada watches his tv he enjoys himself a great deal he does not watch iron is a tv but the tv of brahmins you should not watch tv baba has great pleasure when he sees the games of uh, of the children you play mickey mouse games do you not someone becomes a lion or someone becomes a dog for a short time when you get angry what are you at that time when you continually discuss something or wage war against someone while type while trying to prove yourself right what are you at that time you become mickey mouse do you not so this year do not become mickey mouse become an angel you have now played mickey mouse games many mickey mouse games so this year celebrate it as a powerful year because the time has to come close and you have to bring it close according to the drama it has to come but who are those who are going to bring it close they are you are they not what is the second speciality you will bring about in this year in the new year firstly you give greetings and you also give gifts so in this new year whoever comes into contact or connection with you and whenever they come into contact with you whether they are part of the brahmin family or whether they are other souls constantly give them the gift of sweet words the gift of words of love and secondly constantly give them a gift of one or other virtue or power you can give a gift in even a second you cannot say that you did not have any time that neither did the receiver have any time nor did the giver have any time however if you have an attitude of elevated wishes and elevated feelings 
then with the second thought with a look and a smile from your heart you can give someone a lot in even a second give a gift to whoever comes do not let them go back empty handed so do you have this many gifts or will they finish after you have given them for two days do you have such a full stock or has the stock of some of you become depleted so whoever likes something in your stock raise your hand and it will be made full those who are lacking something give a note to janak brackets dadi janki and she will give class she will give a class on it let there not be anything lacking it is not good if you are the children of the bestower and you have something lacking this is why you have to become full before you return do not go back with any weaknesses along with the year also bid farewell to the weaknesses before you go let it not be that you give gifts tomorrow alone continue to give gifts throughout the year let no one go back without receiving a gift it would be so good then when you give a little gift with love to uh, anyone who comes he becomes so happy it is not the thing that is seen but it is the gift the form of love that is seen no one would become very prosperous with the gifts but they can become prosperous with the love so give love and receive love if anyone does not give you love then just take love from that person you know how to take it do you not or would you be shy thinking how can i take it there is no harm in this taking even if that person is angry with you you should take that as a form of love you are transformers you are world transformers so can those who are world transformers not change something negative into positive so this year constantly give love and receive love do not then say no one can or no one gave any love so what can i do whether someone gives it or not you just take it they will give something whether it is negative or positive they will give something however hey world transformers change negative things into positive do you understand what you have to do this year what will the double foreigners do will you give gifts acha you have become westovers wow congratulations for having become westovers bab dada sees one thing of the children every day what is that this i and mine distress you a great deal sometimes you say i and sometimes you say mine this troubles you every now and then since the year is changing also transform this i and mine even though you may say the word i who is i who do you refer to as the original i the body or the soul is it i am a soul or is it my soul i am a soul so whenever you use the word i why do you not keep the original form and original meaning of it in your awareness throughout the day you use the word i so many times you have to use it you have the you have to use the word mine many times and also the word i many times therefore however many times you use the word i if you bring the original meaning of the word i into your awareness would the word then deceive you or make you fly so whenever you use the word i think i am a soul because you cannot stay without using the words i and mine you have to use them and you also have the habit of i and mine your sanskars of i and mine have become very firm have they not so whenever you use the word i think at that time who am i i am not a body body consciousness comes when you consider i to be the body however you say the body is mine do you not or do you say i the body do you say even by mistake that you are the body you would not say even by mistake that you are the body would you 
so the word i is one that gives even more awareness and power it is not one that makes you fall so you have to bring about this transformation do you not you are the true world transformers are you not just be careful do not become weak so transform the meaning of the word i whenever you use the word i stabilize yourself in that form then when you use the word mine who is mine first of all brackets baba throughout the day you have many things for which you say mine my nature my sanskars my things my family my center my students my service why did this one do my service do you not say this you play this game do you not so when you use the word mine first of all remember who mine is first of all remember my baba then remember all my other things so where the father is present there cannot be body consciousness or any fall therefore look at and use the words i and mine with that attitude with that vision and with that meaning as soon as the word mine emerges from your lips first remember my baba you will then become constant yogis will you not this is because it's been seen that you use the words i and mine in every hour you also have to use them in your business however many times you repeat these words i and mine whether you say them or whether you think about them in your mind you have to transform the meaning of these you have to go from the limited into unlimited when you are the souls who are to transform the whole unlimited world why do you go into anything limited you are not those who are to transform just bharat are you you double foreigners are not transformers of just the foreign lands are you you are world transformers so the world means unlimited you are world transformers you remember this firmly do you not therefore you will automatically and easily become constant yogis you will not have to labor because your intentions and feelings will change acha to all the elevated souls who have a right to the kingdom of the new age to the special souls who are constant instruments for self transformation and world transformation to the souls who are loved by everyone and constantly put newness and greatness into their efforts to the worthy souls who constantly reveal the father's name to the easy yogi souls who constantly use the accurate meaning of mine and i bab dada's love remembrance and namaste spiritual children says namaste to the spiritual father blessing may you be a knowledgeable trikaldar trikaldarsi soul who carries out every act after carefully considering its past and its future the trikal the trikaldarsi children who carry out every act after considering its past and future that is by keeping the three aspects of time in their intellects receive success in every action let it not be that because you were very busy you just begin to do the work that came in front of you no before you perform any action instill the habit that you think about its three aspect of time perform any action while being stable in the trikaldarsi stage and no action will become wasteful or ordinary slogan serve with your contented and happy life and you will then be called a true server slogan serve with your contented and happy life and you will then be called a true server om shanti